Hello, hello, everybody. This is Melissa from stampwithmelissa.com. I'm so excited to have you here today with me on June 21st, 2022 for my weekly live uh, class, my uh, class to go. Um, I am, I hopped on, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds early. <laughs> so I'm going to just blab a little bit. I'm actually going to fix this camera because I feel like it's a lot closer to me than normal and I don't like it. So here, hold on. Bear with me as things start falling and I shift you. You can close your eyes. I'll tell you when I'm done. Let's see. How about that? Oh, much better. <laughs> I don't know. I, um, I'm feeling a little off my game today on this Tuesday. It's probably the heat. It is so hot here in Minnesota. Yesterday was like 100 degrees. Today's 90. I'm not a fan. <laughs> hey, Barb. Hey, Alicia. Thanks for joining me. Um, I just panicked because my thing said mic is muted. And I was like, what do you mean it's muted? That's right, because this one up here is the one that does my mic. See, it's a day. Hey, Mom. My mom's in the car, so I gave her uh, some crap that she wasn't going to watch me live. And she said, I'll watch. <laughs> so, hi, Mom. Hi, Dad, too. Um Okay, so let's go ahead and just get started. Why not? So um, today's a big day because it's free shipping day. So every order over $75 in my online store today, June 21st only, gets free shipping. Cue the applause. <laughs> um, yeah, it has to be the heat. Alicia is saying it's the heat. I don't know. I just feel out of it. <laughs> um, so hopefully stamping brings me back in, right? Anyway, we have our, our next door neighbors are moving today too, and so that it's been weird. Like we had a going away party last night and it was hot out. I mean, we were inside for most of it, but it was like, it's just like so many things are going on. I'm just like, whoa, whoa, hold on. Ground yourself. Right. I think we all need that reminder. Ground ourselves. Chill. <laughs> anyway, so free shipping day. So those are on orders of $75 or higher. Well, good news for you because you're here to watch my class to go and the minimum order for my class to go make and takes is $35. So if you are taking advantage of free shipping today, um, you will get my class to go for free and you'll also get the uh, iridescent pearls. If you're not taking advantage of free shipping, no biggie. Just place an order of $35 in my online store. This is the, oops, this way. This is uh, my website. So you can go there to find my online store and then put in that code when you check out and that will tie you back to this class. That'll tell me you want the class, okay? Um, hi, Kathleen from Florida. See, I don't even remember if I already said hi to you. <laughs> so anyway, it's gonna be a day, you guys. You're in for a treat. <laughs> um, orders over $50 will get the iridescent pearls and they're so washed out. I know you can't see them very well here. There you go, wait. There you go. That's a little bit better, right? These are beautiful, beautiful pearls. Um, I love them. And you'll get a full pack. Mine was not full, clearly. But, um, oh, hi, Margie. Welcome. Uh, yes, yeah, so, um, yeah, so Kathleen says she saved $30 on shipping today. Exactly, because shipping is usually 11% of your cart, or it's, I think, $7.95, whichever one is higher. And so 11%, that's a big savings. Stampin' Up! usually does a free shipping day maybe two or three times a year. So um, definitely don't miss out. They come fast. Like demonstrators found out on Saturday that it was happening today. So we never really have like a ton of advance notice. That's why you want to make sure you're on my email newsletter as well, because I send out all of the news there. Everything in my world, Stampin' World, will go out in my newsletter. Okay. All right. Let me um, flip my thing down. If you have any questions, please ask. I am always happy to answer your questions. It's my job. So ask. <laughs> All right. So we are going to use the beautiful Cottage Rose bundle today. I love this bundle. And you guys, I'm so bad. I made so many cute cards with it. And I realized the three cards I'm using today. Look at all the stamps I'm not using. So there's tons more possibilities. Um, but these are the fun dies. Aren't those so cool? This one is like... This actually, I'll show you a secret here. So um, I think it's these three right here. These three flowers actually cut out that flower stamp. So pretty neat there. And this one gets cut out by this one. Anyway, we're going to use some of these dies today. But this comes from the Abigail Rose Suite, which is on pages 56 and 57 of the annual catalog. I love their color combo here. At first I was like, what green is that? I can't figure it out because it's not listed in the colors here. That's soft succulent. It's <laughs> Right? I guess we need a green for the leaves. So beautiful. I don't actually think I use soft succulent either in my cards today, but 
I do love it. All right, let me close this. I'm going to show you quick the cards that I made and shared on uh, Monday and today to my blog. So this was the one I shared on Monday that I made with the suite. I love it. I heat embossed on pool party cardstock for this and on melon mambo for this. Ooh. And then this is the fun new that embossing folder is the fun new twigs and sprigs embossing folder. There is a matching die cut. It's one of those hybrid ones where it will die and die cut and emboss at the same time. Um, I didn't use the die cut part, but I just use the embossing part. Look how fun that is. And then I'll show you the inside because I didn't share that on my blog. So there's the inside. It says you are positively the greatest. How cute. Okay. So there's that one. And then the one I shared today, which was part of my color challenge. Oh, those are so washed out, but I did stamp the leaf in soft sea foam there. You can barely see it. <laughs> uh, but this is the card I shared today. There's some wink of Stella on this flower. I'm not sure if it shows. Thank you, Alicia. Um, but this is soft succulent polished pink and soft sea foam. And then this ribbon is even soft succulent too. But I tied in the cup of tea stamp set. I saw um, Alicia actually shared a card using the Happiness Abounds uh, suite or that bundle, you know, and put the flower in the teacup. And I thought that was so cute, but I was using this bundle and I was like, well, I could do the same thing. That's so fun, right? Oh, uh, thank you guys. And then again, I use that You Are Positively the Greatest on the inside because I thought that was sweet. All right, let's take a look. I need to take a drink because like I said, it's hot here. So even though I'm in the freezing cold basement, I decided to take a walk before this and it's hot. So I got to hydrate. <laughs> All right. So this is the first card that we're making this week. I think it's so much fun and it actually is using some of that, um, some of the DSP. So super, super fun. I'm going to leave it off to the side and let's go ahead and pull out our card kit. Come here. All right, I think I got all the pieces. That's always the challenge. And we've got a basic black card base. We have got a petal pink layer. We've got the DSP layer, some natural, uh, I think it's called natural woven ribbon um, or natural finish. I, uh, it's something like that. Um, and then a petal pink strip for our sentiment. So let's go ahead. We're going to start with our DSP. And I'm going to bring in some stamp and blends and I'm going to use soft sea foam and petal pink for this. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and I'm not even going to color in these big flowers because that's going to take too long. And this card I wanted to share with you today because it's nice and easy. It's so quick. You just color some of these flowers. So these little flowers, I'm going to color in the petal pink. And then some of the leaves I'm going to color in the soft sea foam. I don't even think I'm going to do all of the leaves, but you can just kind of color it to your heart's content. And I'm gonna pull out some messy scrap paper, <laughs> my favorite, um, because I'm gonna go off the edge a little bit here. Uh, let's see, this is a little flower we'll color. And up here we got some. So um, how was your guys' weekend? I don't think I've asked that for a while. It seems so short. This The weekend went by so quickly uh, on Friday. What did I do on Friday? <laughs> oh, it's always like, wait, what did I do on Friday? What did I do on Friday? Mm, thinking, thinking. I don't remember what I did on Friday. That's the kind of day I'm having. <laughs> but on Saturday, I went to a bonfire. Oh, Friday, I went to see a show. That's what I did. Uh, I have some friends of mine who are in uh, The Little Mermaid locally. So I went to go see that and it was an incredible show or in my newsletter, I said it was fantastic. <laughs> um, and that was super fun to go see that. So um, if you are new here, I'll just tell you, I used to actually work for a theater company and I don't anymore. I accepted a job in healthcare, working in accounting, the accounting department about almost two months ago now, but I used to work in a theater for five years. So uh, I have lots of friends who do lots of shows and I spend all my money going to see them. <laughs> Luckily, they're just like community theater productions. So ticket prices aren't too bad. But then on Saturday, I went to a bonfire at another friend's house and that was super fun. We have not yet had a bonfire this summer. So um, one of my uplines, Kristen, uh, Bryant, she asks every Saturday in our team group, um, what we like, just a question, like a social question, what we do, what our favorite snack is, 
whatever. Um, and she asked what favorite summer treats are. And mine, hands down, are s'mores. But I had my very first s'more on uh, on Saturday. And actually, I probably shouldn't even say s'mores because I don't really care about the graham cracker and the chocolate so much. I just love the marshmallow. <laughs> Maybe it's because I really only like them when they're roasted. And that's typically only something you can do in the summer, right? So you can have chocolate and graham crackers year round. Yeah, Margie said too short and a little hot. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> it was hot here in Minnesota too. Actually, Saturday was pretty nice, but Sunday was hot. And then Sunday was Father's Day too. So we went to go see the new, I surprised my dad with tickets to go see the new uh, Top Gun movie. It was very good, which uh, nobody gets to yell at me here, okay? But uh, in prep, I had to watch the first Top Gun movie on Saturday, and I thought it was so boring. Nobody gets to come at me for that, because <laughs> I've already gotten some crap for that. But I did. I thought it was so boring, and I was like, oh, man, I'm in for the longest two hours of my life. But I really, really, really enjoyed Maverick. So highly recommend it. If you know somebody who didn't really love the first one, go see Maverick. <laughs> uh, and then of course we got ice cream. So that was super, super fun. Okay. Let's see. Kathleen said on um, Friday, she went to dinner with friends Saturday. Oh yes. Yeah, Saturday. She went to the creativity now event and Sunday she crafted with a friend. Top Gun was great. And then Alicia likes s'mores with peanut butter cups. Oh, I've never tried that, but Reese's are my favorite candy. So I will have to try that. Um, yeah, so Kathleen is talking about an event called Creativity Now, which was a demonstrator only creative event. So it was all virtual and it was four hours on Saturday night. Um, I went for about the first half hour and then I went to my bonfire, but it's okay because Stampin' Up! is so nice that I get access to it. Demonstrators who register get access to it, um, for like a whole month. So I still have to catch up on that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you can see here what I did is I used Seal to put the DSP onto the petal pink and then onto the basic black. And then I just used some seal across my card front and added that ribbon down, okay? Let's pull in this piece then. And I've got my sentiment that says friends forever because how cute is that? Hey, Keisha, no worries. As long as you're here, that's all that matters. Doesn't matter what time you show up. <laughs> all right, we are going to ink this up and then I'm gonna scooch this way down because Cling mount stamps make it a little bit harder to get everything straight because you can't see through it. But I think that worked pretty good. So there's that. Let's go ahead and add some dimensionals to the back of this. And we're going to pop it right on top of our ribbon. Actually, it's funny. So we, um, I mentioned at the beginning where we have new neighbors moving in and, uh, Oh, Alicia said she had the Creativity Now event, and that was pretty much it. Well, a quiet weekend is nice. Sure is nice. Um, but we have new neighbors moving in, and one of them drives a motorcycle, and I think I just heard it. They must have just gotten home. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I am going to add some of these iridescent pearls. Now I used one big one and one little one, and then one little one over here, too. Yes, this weekend is not a quiet weekend for me. Sorry, here's the first card. I'm just going to chat. <laughs> Here's the first card. Isn't that so fun? Um, I love it. I think it's so fun. Okay, let me put this in here and this in here and this over here. And I'll move this down. Grab our next bin. Um, this weekend, I have grad parties, wed a wedding, not multiple, just one wedding. Um, yeah, so not going to be much of a quiet weekend this weekend for me. But actually, the 4th of July weekend, surprisingly, I have no plans. So that's pretty nice. <laughs> kind of random. Like, you always think that 4th of July weekend is always when you have plans, right? Um, yay, Margie got her Butterfly Kisses kit today. I'm so excited for you. Yeah, so as a reminder, if you want these kits for, t for this week's class, um, if you place a $35 order, you can get them for free. Uh, so super fun, but this is the second one we're going to make. I love it. And it says happy birthday. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the rest of the summer will be busy for Alicia. Yeah, I know. I'm just looking forward to like having no plans the fourth because that's probably the last weekend. I won't have plans. All right. We've got our card base this time. I'm going with, uh, the different way. So you can see it's still the same size, but you'll notice I typically do my cards where they fold out this way. I just always do that. I think it's because they mail better when I mail out these kits. 
But this time I'm going this way. So this was cut at four and a quarter. And then this is 11 inches scored in half at five and a half. So something a little bit different this time. We're gonna go ahead and crease that. And let's go ahead and assemble. So you've got that. You've, you'll also have a piece of plain basic white. You'll get a piece of early espresso, a piece of designer series paper. Isn't that pattern fun? Here's the other side. Super fun pattern. And then you're going to get one of these die cuts. And I want to show you, it is a die cut. There you go. You can see right there. This is from the Stylish Shapes dies. It's the largest square. So it has a fun um, little you know, edge to it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. We're going to start with the designer series paper, add some seal to the back and put this on the early espresso. Now it is the same height as our early espresso layer. Okay. So we're going to butt it up all the way to the bottom. And we just want to make sure the margins on the left and the right are the same. Okay. That looks good. Then we're going to add some seal to the back of the early espresso piece. And again, this is going to be the same height as this basic white piece. So we're going to butt it up to the bottom. I'm leaving about half an inch here uh, to my left, but you can put it wherever you want to. You can put it on the right, in the middle, whatever. It's your card. You do your thing, okay? Let's take this piece, add some seal to the back, and get this on our card front here. Super fun. I love this card with just a slight little hint of designer series paper. Uh-oh. You guys, guess what got stuck in the envelope? My soft seafoam strip. We'll need that for the sentiment. <laughs> All right, let me pull out my messy scrap paper again. And then I'm going to grab our beautiful cottage rose and my tuxedo black memento ink. Let's ink this up. Now, the reason I'm using this is because I'm going to color with my blends. Otherwise, I probably would have used early espresso ink because it matches the paper. But because that's water-based and my markers are alcohol-based, I wanted to use an alcohol-based ink that um, can hold the, those markers. And then I just huffed on it to make sure that all that ink is active. And then I heard another demonstrator say once, I'm going to let it sit and marinate for a second. She says marinate. <laughs> and I thought it was kind of fun. So... Let it just sit on there for a second. And there we go, beautiful image. All right, so let's go ahead and color. I'm gonna leave this mat down again, just because we might go off the edge a little bit. Can you guys see the, my piece very well though? Let's use the messier side, huh? Can you see my piece better? <laughs> All right, we're gonna use petal pink and color in our rows. And then we're going to use soft sea foam for our leaves. So these cards this week are a little bit simpler to put together, a little bit of a simpler design, but you do want to color. So um, I suppose if you didn't want to color, you don't have to. Um, so you can go ahead and just, you know, stamp it in a different color, or you can use um, watercolor pencils, you can use stamp and write markers, you can use pastels, whatever you want to use, okay? All right, let's get this colored. Scribble, scribble. All right. That looks good to me. And let's pull in soft sea foam now. So the way I like to color, and I've mentioned this before, but I like to use my dark blend to go where any of those shadows should be or those creases, the darker parts. I always like to start with my dark marker and then go in with my light and color it. Now, some people like to use their light marker and color all the way in and then go back with their dark and add in those details. If that's how you do it, awesome. Keep doing it that way. It's just on how you learn. This is how I learned. So this is the way I like to do it. I have tried the other way and I don't know. I just don't, it just doesn't resonate with me as much. So do it whichever way you learned how to do it. If you've never learned how to do it, try both ways, see which one you like. So let's see. So Kathleen uses the, um, Oh, yep. So Kathleen says she uses the grid paper from the Stamparatus uh, when she uses her blends because it doesn't get her paper mess or her grid messy. And that is because um, blends are alcohol markers, so they do bleed through. Now, my mine probably wouldn't mark this up, but I was going off the edge a little bit, so I wanted to just be safe. <laughs> not safe and not sorry, right? 
<laughs> All right, let's grab in our black ink again. And the Stamparatus grid paper is awesome too, but I always forget that I own it. So that's the full size and I just end up folding it a bunch of times. You know, you know how it goes. All right, again, I'm gonna pull this way down and I'm sorry if I block it, but I just wanna make sure that I get this stamped straight. I think I did. Good job, Melissa. Pat on the back, right? <laughs> And I'm just going to use my snips this time to cut straight because this is small enough. I think I can do it without my trimmer. Yep, I think I did it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. We're going to add some dimensionals to the back of our square piece here. And I'm going to use five, one in the middle and then one in each corner. And then we're going to even pop up our sentiment. All right, so we've got all those pieces. And then I'm going to go ahead and layer this down. And I'm having that designer series paper peek out on the left-hand side just a little bit. And then I'm going to grab this guy, my happy birthday. Now you can see here, it's right way, right? So happy birthday. I'm gonna flip it that like over the top like that, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one dimensional and put it on the left-hand side. And I'm gonna grab two dimensionals. I'm gonna put one as far over to the right as I can peel off the backing and stick another one on top of it because we're double dimensionally. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Thanks, Margie. Um, so yeah, say double, double dimensionaling five times fast. It's really hard. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and attach this here. And then you can see it sticks up evenly, but because there was nothing over here, we had to double dimension to make up for now, oops, now we have two layers there. See, look at that, pretty neat. All right, let's grab our iridescent pearls here. We're gonna use one big one right about here. Then I'm gonna grab another big one and go down over here and grab a little one to go right next to it. Bingo, there is, thank you so much, you guys. There is card number two, okay last card for this week okay this is it i love it i think it's so much fun i saved i personally think i saved the best for last so you might have a different opinion than me but this one was my favorite for sure you know what i've got some blends we're going to use so i'm going to take these other ones that we're not going to use and put them away so that they i don't accidentally use them <laughs> okay so let's go ahead we're gonna use Bermuda Bay and Granny Apple Green this time. So let me pull out our card kit. Come on, all you pieces. We're going to have a Smoky Slate card base this time. Hey, Brenton, welcome. And then we're going to have a Smoky Slate layer, a piece of the designer series paper. Here's the other side, isn't that fun? Um, we're going to have a scrap piece. You can see mine's quite large, <laughs> but a scrap piece of basic white. That's to die cut out that flower a strip of basic white for our sentiment. And then you're going to have scrap pieces of Granny Apple Green and Bermuda Bay to die cut some of these detailed flowers and a piece of the white frayed ribbon. Super fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Where should we start today, you guys? Should we start with die cutting? No, let's assemble a little bit just so we can get some pieces all put together, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna use my seal on the back of the designer series paper and get that attached to our smoky slate base here. I love that this is all leaves because it looks really fun with the flowers. Add some seal to the back of our smoky slate piece and then we'll add this to our card front. Perfect. We will go ahead fold and burnish this now. And I suppose we could put this down probably too. So I'm gonna just run some seal, just like the first card. I just ran some seal right on my card here. Thanks, Margie. And I'm just going to add my ribbon right on down there, just like that. Here, can you see it? I've got so many lights on that I cannot tell <laughs> sometimes what is getting washed out. Oh, thanks, Alicia. Welcome, Lori. You. We don't care if you're late, as long as you're here. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do some stamping. I'm gonna grab our beautiful cottage rose again and our Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, just like the last one. Um, we're gonna use Memento because we're using alcohol markers. 
So I want to make sure it sticks. All right. I'm going to close that up and put it away. And I'm just going to huff on this again. Make sure all the ink is active and stamp this down. Again, we're going to let it marinate. <laughs> I just love, I don't remember the name of the demonstrator who said that, but another demonstrator said, you got to let it marinate because it gives a better image. And I was like, I like that. I'm going to use that. So, all right, we've got that. Let's go ahead and stamp our happy birthday because we can, but I got to clean my stamp first because our previous one was black and now we're going to use Bermuda Bay. So we're going to go ahead and stamp that. And again, I am going to pull it down just so I can make sure it's straight here. Ink, ink, ink. Sorry if I go off camera or get my head in the way. Hopefully I didn't. I don't know. There we go. Look it. I think it looks pretty good. Pretty straight. All right. Close this up. And then I'm going to just set this to the side. And we're going to go ahead and die cut. So let me pull in my big guy here because we're going to die cut everything at once. Okay. And we're going to grab our plates here. Now, again, I'm using the magnetic plate, which is not currently available for use I'm or for purchase. I'm so sorry about that. Um, there was some issue with it. I talked about this last week, but there was some issue with it uh, where the layers were separating. And I don't know, it didn't happen to mine. So I'm going to keep using it unless it breaks. <laughs> uh, all right. So I have got this piece ready to die cut. I'm going to grab my granny apple green in here. And there's these really fun die pieces here. I'm going to pick them out here off camera a little, but I'll show them to you. Come here. So these are the two fun ones we're going to do with the granny apple green. And I'm just going to fit them wherever they will fit. huh? Let's do this one down here and maybe this one over here. Perfect. And then we'll grab our Bermuda Bay piece. You just scoot that over a little bit. Bermuda Bay, and we're going to use, let's see, we're going to use this fun flower, and I think we need to get two of these, ultimately. Um, no, we don't. We're going to use that one, and we're going to use this one. <laughs> oh, no, Alicia said that her plate separated yesterday. We were just talking about how that had not happened to either of us, and hers just bit the dust. I'm so sorry. You must use yours more than I do. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and die cut these pieces out. Get my arm workout for today. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to put my plates back. Okay, let's see. Pieces, pieces. Come here. They do like, my pieces like to stick to my, 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 oh, excuse me. <laughs> my pieces like to stick to my magnetic plate a lot of the time. Like these ones are all stuck, but it's okay. We'll move them in a second. All right. So let's see. We want this guy. And these are very like delicate. Um, they're very thin die cuts. Wow. Look at that. Most of those inside pieces stayed on. I'll clean those later. <laughs> and let me grab these granny apple green ones. Now I have uh, mentioned this before, but another good tip is that if you use like a, an unscented dryer sheet, didn't mean to tip that. If you use an unscented dryer sheet, it will actually grab all of those little bits and bobs for you. So you don't have to worry about them. All right, there's that. Now I'm going to carefully place this on the floor so that all those pieces don't spill. And I'm going to deal with that later. Um, oh yeah. Okay. So Brenton hasn't had an issue with his yet either. Yeah. Fingers crossed that you don't. Okay. Come here, little piece. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and color in our rose. So I'm going to use Bermuda Bay for the actual rose, which I think is so fun because I've never seen a rose this color, <laughs> but you know what? That's the fun of stamping is that yes, you want things to be realistic sometimes, but also like, I just want this to be the color I want it to be. And that's just what it's going to be right? <laughs> okay. So we use the dark there. Then I'm going to go back in with my light and color in the rest here. And you can see I'm being brave. I didn't grab my messy grid paper. So let's say, see if I can make it without making a mess. Should be okay. I think as long as I color inside the lines. 
no shame if you uh, go outside the lines like I just did. It's okay. It's handmade and that's all that matters, right? It's handmade and as long as you mail them too, you have to mail them. You can't just make them, you have to mail them. So um, I have sent about 200 and I think today I hit 218 cards so far in 2022. And I still have so many sitting in my drawers. <laughs> so I have a lot to go through still. Um, oh, that's so weird, Lori. Is she watching on Facebook or YouTube? Because if it's on YouTube, if it's on Facebook, I don't know what, why it's doing that. But if it's on YouTube, just make sure that she is logged into her Gmail account. And then she should be able to comment. And if she can't, I'm not sure what's going on. Um, there is a live chat on YouTube. And you do have to click that sometimes. Sometimes it pops up and then it goes away. So if there's a live chat option, try clicking that and see if you can comment then, Colleen. All right, so there is the dark granny apple green. We're gonna go back in with the light granny apple green and color these guys in. See, this is a pretty nice and quick color too. So you don't have to get too precise with this, but don't forget this little stem, which is so thin. You could use your bullet tip end for that, I suppose, but I uh, was a little too lazy to switch. <laughs> All right, let's color in these last few leaves. And this guy here. Okay, we're all colored. Let's go ahead then. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this piece and I'm going to uh, flip it over. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, Kathleen says she likes to make four or six cards as gifts for friends and family. And you know what, guys? I think there's a bug in here. So stand by. <laughs> All right. So I just put some seal on the top of my rose there. Let's see. Can you see that shiny part? And then I'm just going to take these die cuts and I'm going to line them up behind wherever I think they look good. Okay. Uh, oh, thanks, Barb. All right. Let's do one there. Let's poke one in over here. I think these die cuts are so fun. I knew I had to use them in a card. Did I get it on there? Oh yeah, just barely on the edge of that seal. That's okay. We'll go ahead and add some dimensionals to help hold things down. I'm going to peek one of these granny apple green pieces behind there and then grab the leaf one. And I'm actually going to put it in front of my Bermuda Bay piece, but still try to stick it to that seal. Actually, I think I'm out of seal, so I need to add some. Or I'm not out, but I... I didn't put any over there. <laughs> All right, so let's try that again. How about that? Ooh, I like it. I like it. Okay, let's go ahead and add some dimensionals here. And I, so like I said, so we've got those two pieces right there. And I'm going to make sure that my dimensional goes over both of them just to help hold it down. These ones are kind of connected here. I bet I could do it. Yep, right there. Let's put one... Um, Let's put one right here on the card so that I don't go on the ribbon. How about that? Um, yeah, aren't the die cuts so fun, Alicia? I love this set. I think it's just so fun. All right, let's go ahead and we'll lay it down. Now, it's totally fine if it pokes over our layers. I just don't want it to poke all the way off the card because um, then it won't fit in the envelope without bending a little, and I don't want these pieces to bend. All right, this looks pretty good to me. So let's go ahead. We're going to add a dimensional on the left-hand side. Or I'm sorry, this is the right. <laughs> Come on, Melissa. The right-hand side and put some seal on the left-hand side. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick this down here. Like that. All right, let's grab iridescent pearls. And oh, oh, oh. I told you guys there's a bug in here. No. I scared it. Do you see it? <gasps> I got it. You guys. I got it. <laughs> Sorry. You know how I feel about those little bugs. I don't know where they come from, but they're always in my craft room. Always. I don't even keep food in here. <laughs> oh, anyway, let's go ahead and use our iridescent pearls. I'm going to grab a big one, stick it right there, grab a little one, put it right next to it, and grab another little one and put it over here. And there is our third card. Yeah, get that bug, my mom said. And Alicia said, LOL. Didn't this just happen last week? <laughs> uh, anyway, they're getting in somewhere. I don't know where. They're like little fruit flies. But again, I don't have food in here. So anyway, there's the third card. I digress. Move on, Melissa, right? Let me pull in our other two here quick. 
that we made today. Thank you so much. So this is uh, this week's card class. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you want these make and takes for these cards, you do. Oh, thanks. Keisha says she loves the colors. If you want the make and takes for these cards, you do get two of each by placing a $35 order in my online store. The link to shop is right there. Just type that into your URL and then make sure you use that host code right there um, to when you check out. That'll tie you to this class. Let me know. You, that lets me know you want this class. OK, um, thank you guys so much. You're so nice. Um, so you your order has to be in by Friday night. So that's June 24th at midnight central time. Um, I will cut and ship everything on Saturday, okay? Uh, thank you. Oh my gosh, your kind words just keep coming in. And that just means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much. Um, what, what else was I gonna say? Oh, if your order goes over $50 before tax and shipping, you will also get a full pack, not a partially used, <laughs> a full pack of the iridescent pearl basic jewels. Um, which are the embellishments we used on all three cards today, okay? And to make the most of that, place your order today and get in on the free shipping special, okay? Don't miss out on that. Um, orders of $75 and more will get the free shipping. If you order $75, you get the free shipping, you get these classes, you get the pearls. You get it all, okay? Um, and then, oh, let me just mention this. If your order is between $75 and $149, use that code. But if your order goes above $150, skip the code. You can still get the class, okay? Because then you get Stampin' Rewards, and I want you to take advantage of getting those, okay? Um, the very last thing I wanted to mention, it is June 21st. So next week, I'll be live again, Tuesday, June 28th at 5 o'clock Central Time. And next week, I'm featuring the Happy Forest Friends Suite. I can't wait to play with it. Um, but that also means that I think it's Wednesday night, no, Thursday next week is the last day to uh, use your, um, oh, thank you guys so much. Um, the, that's the last day to send in your loyalty rewards form. I am discontinuing my loyalty rewards because I want to offer more things like these free classes. Uh, and so if you have any outstanding loyalty rewards, make sure you get your form turned in by next Thursday. If you're not sure if you have outstanding, uh, outstanding points, visit my website or send me a message or an email and I'll get back to you. Okay. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I think that's all of my announcements. Please reach out with any questions. I do respond as quick as I can. Okay. Just remember I work during the day, so I do try to respond during my lunch break, but otherwise I get back to you as soon as I possibly can. All right. Thank you for watching again, and I will catch you next week. Bye for now.